channel and thank you so much for watching. I am finally back with a makeup tutorial. Today's makeup look, I wanted to do something less dramatic than what I have here on my channel. Lately, I've been doing smoky eye after smoky eye after smoky eye. So I wanted to do something a little bit more wearable, a little bit more daytime. And also, you guys requested me to do the makeup look I had in my fall favorites tag. So many of you guys loved the makeup look that I had in that video. So I took some inspiration from that particular look that I created and I created this one. It's very similar. The only thing that I decided to change was the lid color. I made it a little bit darker, a little bit more pink. And I also did the brown eyeliner because my eyeliner is brown, but I made it a little bit darker just so that it can be a little bit more sultry and a little bit sexier. And yeah, that is pretty much it. I love you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys very soon with another super awesome video because my next two videos are insane. So yeah, I love you and I'll see you guys soon. Alrighty you guys, let's do this. So as you guys already know, I am starting off by priming my eyelids and today I am taking the MAC Roll On Wear Concealer in NW20. And for today we are going to be working off the new Makeup Geek Matte Eyeshadows that they are so amazing. The first color I am taking is Crème Brûlée and I'm going to pack this on the crease with a Sigma E40 blending brush. I'm pretty much just applying this color in the upper crease, just blending it out and this is going to be our transition shade. This is not one of the new shadows but it is reformulated and it's just amazing. Like I love the new formula of these shadows. So the next color I'm taking is called Morocco and this is a beautiful burnt orange kind of color. It's super similar to Max Rule. So I'm taking this with a Sigma E25 and I'm going to apply this to my crease. So I'm going to tightly pack this on the crease and then once I have that color concentrated on the crease, I am going to be blending it upwards. Then I'm going to go in with Coco Bear. This is another eyeshadow that was just simply reformulated and it is a beautiful kind of dark, it's not really a dark, it's like a brown with some red undertones. It's really similar to Max Brown Script. And I'm going to take this and I'm going to put this from inner corner to outer corner in the crease. Again, I'm going to concentrate that color in the crease and then once I have it concentrated, I'm going to be blending it upwards and I did use a Sigma E25. And then I'm going to go in with the brush that I use Morocco with and I'm just going to blend both colors in together. So now I'm going to go in with a dual chrome eyeshadow also by Makeup. Geek, yay for Makeup Geek. This one is in the shade My Tie. This is such a beautiful dual chrome shadow. You can't really tell if it's a purple or a pink or a peach. It is so stunning. I'm going to pack this all over my entire lid and I'm going to be using a MAC 242 and I'm just going to pack it on. I'm going to wet my brush with some MAC Fix Plus just to really intensify the dual chrome. So now I'm taking another dual chrome eyeshadow. This one is in the shade I am peachless and I'm just going to pop this in the center using my finger this doesn't really do a huge difference but I just kind of like the halo effect and then I went in with a fluffy brush just to blend those edges together and my upper lash line I actually decided to go in with a brown and you can use any color you want I just decided to go with a brown for a softer look and then I also applied some Queen Bee lashes by Coco Lashes so moving on to the face I started off by priming my skin with the Makeup Forever smoothing primer and then I also applied a little bit of the Becca's Backlight Primer. For foundation, I actually mixed the Born This Way foundation by Too Faced with a little bit of the NARS Mattifying Foundation. And I'm applying it with the Tarte Flawless Foundation Brush, which you guys know this has been my favorite brush for foundation for the past month. It is so big, so fluffy, it is amazing. So I went ahead and touched up my brows and then we're going to go ahead and move on to concealer. So for concealer, I am using the Kevin Aquan Essential Skin Enhancer in SX05. I'm going to apply it with a brush and then I'm going to go in with a beauty blender and just kind of blend it out. For this concealer, you definitely want to use very little of it because if you use a lot, it will cake up because it is super thick, but it is amazing. Like It illuminates the under eye area like no other. I love it. And whenever I have extra on my sponge, I will take it to the chin and up in the forehead. So 
To set the concealer, I am going in with the MAC Studio Fix. No, this is the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Light. I'm going to apply it with that same damp beauty blender. As you guys can see in this clip right now, look at the difference. It is amazing applying it with the damp sponge. I will be showing you guys more in detail about this technique in my upcoming video. And then to bronze the skin, I'm going to take the Tarte Park Avenue Princess. This is the mattifying one, not the one that has shimmer. And I'm going to apply it to the hollows of the cheeks, up in the forehead, and I'm using the NARS Eda brush. For blush, I am going in with Max Margin. I love this blush because it's, it gives you such like a subtle glow. It is so pretty. And then I'm going to go in right on top of that with the Kardashian Beauty. This is a highlight by them in the shade Aurora. It is so pretty because it gives you like this glowing pinky type of glow. It is so stunning. Like you look so fresh faced after you use this product. It's amazing. So for highlights, I'm taking a Bobbi Brown Shimmer Brick. I don't know the name of it. I will have it linked down below. I think it's called copper sparkle i believe and i'm going to apply that in the highest points of the cheeks down the nose and a little bit on the cupid's bow so for the under eyes i'm going to first start off by lining my waterline with costa riche pencil by mac and then i'm going to take the same colors that i took in the crease in the lower lash line so i'm starting off by taking coco bear and i'm going to apply this to the lower lash line and then with a really big fluffy brush i'm taking a little bit more of morocco and i'm just going to blend it under there because i really want my lower lash line to be super smoked out so to highlight the brow bone and the inner corner i am taking voltage which is another duochrome eyeshadow by makeup geek I'm first going to apply it with a brush and then I go in with my finger and just smooth it out and blend it out. Go ahead and apply some mascara to your lower lash line. Lash line. I kind of I'm talking so fast that I just blanked out. So go ahead and apply some mascara to your lower lashes. And then for lips, we are going to start off by applying Sepia by Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is a liquid lipstick. And while we wait for that to dry, I'm going to go ahead and apply my earrings. And then once that layer is dry, you want to go ahead and pop in Lumiere by Colourpop in collaboration with Kathleen Light. And I'm going to just apply this to the center of my lips. And then for some extra dimension, I'm going to go in with Max Oyster Girl only to the center. So you want to finish off the face by applying some Fix Plus. And once you have done that, you are pretty much done. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you and I'll see you guys very soon with another makeup tutorial. Bye!